Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweepy TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today we are in Beverly Hills for the red carpet of the 71st EMI Awards. We're catching up with some of your favorite artists, songwriters, and more. Stay tuned. BMI 71st Pop Awards, how are you feeling? Tonight we are honoring those, I mean, that sometimes don't get the recognition that they honestly deserve. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the hours that go into all this. So tell me, how are you feeling tonight and being an award winner? It, it is, it almost feels like a, like a high school class reunion to see friends that either I've seen recently and written songs with or haven't seen in years, but the camaraderie of this community where everyone in this room knows what the process feels like of sitting down in a room, sometimes with people you just met, and let's tell a real and honest story. Let's make a piece of art that didn't exist before. There's something exciting about it and also something terrifying about it, but it's nice to have a whole community of folks that's like, we all know what that feeling is. BMI Awards, uh, very supportive of me, amazing people. Um, always really have my back and it's just a privilege to be here and have fun and see some good people. I feel so excited and I feel so much gratitude to BMI and the fellow songwriters that are all here to celebrate a lovely night of music. Honestly, it's a blessing. I came from nothing, so I'm just happy to be here and to soak up all the energy. I'm feeling amazing. How are you feeling? I'm good. The energy's high. I'm excited to get in there. But being here tonight with so many amazing people, anyone in this room that has helped you guys pave your way in your careers? Oh, uh, Definitely Timbaland. Shout out to my brother. He, I actually got introduced to Jack Harlow because of Timbaland and me and Jack Harlow locked in and you know, we built an amazing friendship and brotherhood and we've made some amazing music since, so shout out to Timbaland. Uh, Evan Lamberg believed in us very early on. Mac Reynolds, our manager. Yeah, we brought, I brought my wife, Dan brought his awesome uh, daughter, Arrow. So they've definitely been instrumental. Oh God, there's some incredible people here. Someone I'm winning an award with tonight is Rami Yacoub, who is a legend and he wrote all the Britney stuff and all the, you know, you know, Backstreet Boys hits in the, uh, late 90s and uh, we, we he was one of the first people to really believe in me and it's great to actually after you know a few years of working we had a we had a song in it and we get to collect it together tonight the song that we're honoring you tonight for abcdefu has brought you and opened so many doors from the grammys american music awards going on tour with taylor swift so gratitude to that song I mean wow did you ever think writing that with your best friend you would be here tonight no also speaking of she's right next to me Hello, best friend. Hello, so Hi. they just asked if we wrote did we think ABC was gonna do all the things that it did I mean we were talking on the Grammy red carpet she's on tour with Taylor Swift look at this you guys crazy crazy life crazy. I feel like you know in our in our biggest hopes and dreams we could have imagined a fraction of this so yeah. I we had no clue there's no way we're gonna be like great me nom for sure like we I had just no clue that people got to hear it me so too. I we never knew if it was gonna leave our voice memos or anything so we just had no clue so now bones and enemy anything when you guys were in the studio writing those songs any special memories or moments that you held close to your heart that you could share with us yeah, I walked into that, um, the, the producers, Matt and Robin, they always get there early to set up. And Dan Reynolds from Magic Dragons, he got there early as well. And they actually had like a version of the chorus melody riffing. And um, in his melody that he was riffing, he was saying, everybody wants to be a celebrity. And I was like, uh, I don't know how relatable that is. Maybe there's something that, that, that feels a little deeper. And so um, we came up with Enemy, and I'm so grateful because the song has been massive and people love it and it's like an anthem for them. So um, that's my favorite part of that. My favorite memory is like, oh, uh, maybe not celebrity, how about Enemy? I, I mean, when we were working on Bones, you know, there was definitely a moment when we, we had the chorus kind of put together all the way and we were kind of just dancing around, listening to it. And we wanted to listen to it over and over and over. And, we knew something special was happening. I thought you kind of just came in with that one. Yeah, I did. Yeah. It was like I came in, I grabbed an acoustic guitar, and I was like, ah, 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 this, and then we just went with it. It kind of came easier. How long did it take you to write? A day, I think we were. Okay. Yeah. I want to talk about Meet Me at Our Spot. So 
Take us back to when you guys were writing it and a memory that you'll hold in your heart forever while writing this song. Right, I, I think it's always the songs that end up being the biggest that you're not really sure about and you, you don't really know. And I don't think we were even thinking about it. It, it was actually a conversation whether we should even put it on the album or not, you know? And it was one of those things where I was like, yeah, there's something cool about this, but I don't know, let's just try it. And it was maybe one of the fastest songs that have ever come together. I think we wrote it top to bottom in less than an hour. Congratulations, first class. Appreciate you. Walk me through, I mean, one of the biggest songs in the world, okay? Walk me through that experience, writing it, working with Jack Carlo. Tell me. Man, I'm, I'm going to have to be honest. I really don't talk about the process with the artist, but the, the session was an, it was an amazing session. The energy was high. The, the producers did their thing with delivering um, the beat, and then the results, you know, we see it. Fingers crossed, that's such a beautiful song. So when you were in the studio writing this, any special memories or moments that you could share with us? Yeah, um, the producer of the song is Yake, um, and I had never met Yake or Fran in person either. Um, but it was kind of like just an instant connection. Yake is like the nicest Swedish man, he's the kindest. So I just remember amazing vibes, like happiness, laughing, getting to tell them about like my exes and my life story and them just immediately getting it. Working with so many amazing individuals, so many love and idolize, do you have any special memories in the studio with some artists that you could share? I was, uh, about three years ago now, I'd flown out to, uh, to Suffolk, England to write with Ed Sheeran. We had written one song before in Nashville where I'm from, but I went out there to write with him and we spent a whole day hashing out this song and a lot to me the job can be a real grind like that where it's like how do I stay focused and stay engaged and really find the truth the special thing about what this song is at the end of the day we finished the song it was fine we were kind of worn out and he said hey we've got like an hour until the car comes to pick us up let's try a new idea and I'm just exhausted at that point but in 40 minutes we wrote this song called Afterglow, which actually won a, a BMI award last year. And it was really special to me of like, it's almost like we had to go, we had to eat our vegetables first to get to the dessert of that last piece at the end. So I, I love that our industry are, have those little stories speckled throughout. Yeah. Okay, so Khalid is being honored tonight. Favorite Khalid song, do you have one? Occasion. Of course! Young, Dumb and Broke. This is gonna be basic, but I think Young, Dumb and Broke or, or Angels. Last time we talked was over Zoom. You were just going on tour with Taylor. Now that, can we talk about that? Because I saw a video of you crying on stage. So, so many tears. the emotions, tell me. There's just been so many tears. I don't really script anything I'm going to say and there's always a moment in my set where I thank everybody for changing my life to anybody who's paid attention to the set that I was just saying, anybody who streamed ABC, anybody who watched the music video, anybody who didn't skip it on the radio, to the people who put the song on the radio, I just, I always speak from my heart and it always just makes me really emotional because I'm speaking from a place of really, really trying my best to thank people in person and it always just makes me so emotional and, and then when I say the phrase thank you to Taylor Swift. Working with Jack Carlo, the ladies want to know, the, I mean, come on, how is that working with him? It's an honor. He's an artist that moves with intent and he makes songs with intent and we put a lot of love into what we do. He loves music and I think that's why I love working with him and why we make a great team and a great partnership. So. So ladies, you know, for the fans and viewers watching this at home and look at you guys and idolize you and may have those voice memos in their phone that they may be too scared to share with the world, advice for them. Gosh, find your person that will write all of those songs. I with totally you. agree. Just have the most fun possible with your favorite people. Find songs that you love and you know, find the people that were a part of those and be inspired. Believe in yourself. Have faith. Without that, nothing's possible. You gotta believe. Move with your creative intents first. Don't move for the dollar. Um, kind of like take calculated risk. Um, never take no for an answer. Um, never take no for an answer and never take no for an answer. And we are never taking no for an answer tonight. Congratulations. Have fun. Thank you. Nice to meet you. What a red carpet that was. We caught up with some of your favorites in the music industry. As always, I'm your host Sienna Leone and we will see you guys next video. Bye everyone.